Hey guys, it's True here. Welcome to another True Review. Today I'm bringing you No Time to Explain on the Xbox One. It's a game by Tiny Bug Games, and it's best described as one of those games which is a platform hell game. You know the type I mean, the one where there's millions of spikes, millions of enemies, and you're gonna die a awful lot throughout the game. Calling it a platformer is a little bit misleading though, because your main method of navigating the levels is through a laser beam which is also doubles up as your weapon and you actually use it as a form of propulsion if you aim towards the ground and you'll thrust upwards so you use it to bounce your way off the various walls of the levels you can also move left and right and also have a jump button as well but to be honest with you you very rarely actually do those i mean jumping itself i think i probably used um, five times throughout the entire game you just don't need really to use it so calling it a platformer is a little bit um, a little bit misleading I mean the game itself is absolutely crazy it starts off with you're in your living room and all of a sudden your front wall just completely gets destroyed and a future version of yourself bursts in and says there's no time to explain what's going on and you go chasing after him as he's kidnapped by a giant mutant crab and that basically sets the tone for the entire game it's just one bit of sheer madness after another and if you really want something surreal to play then this is definitely the game for you. The game takes you on a right real journey, I mean through various various locations, more bizarre locations than probably any other game really. Um, you go from a cityscape fighting dinosaurs to fighting diabetes inside your own body, escaping from a lunatic asylum in a straight jacket and even controlling a mutant, mutated clone of yourself escaping from a clone lab the game's locations are very very varied and they're all really well drawn in this cartoon cell shaded style as you can see on the screen at the moment the voice acting is pretty good as well especially when you consider that they're all done by one guy as well I think one of the people who work for Tiny Build they do a really really good job and while the, there's not an awful lot of script, what is there is quite amusing and does uh, raise a smile when you do hear the dialogue for the first time. One of the things I really like about the game is as well is that each group of levels, each set of themed levels, tends to have a gameplay mechanic attached to it, whether it be activating switches, whether it be pressure pads, whether it be um, collecting objects to bypass walls or even having a completely different control system as you can see on the screen at the moment this section of levels you actually use a shotgun and have to aim at the ground to kind of like um, fire yourself backwards with the, uh, the force of the gun it takes a little bit of getting used to but it kind of breaks the game up really really well and there is other levels as well where you're in a straight jacket and you kind of like use a slingshot system and also levels in a cloning lab where you use a similar method as well but those, those kind of break the game up rather rather nicely so the pros of the game for me and the graphical style, the variety between the levels and the scripts of the game, it will raise a smile when you do play it and it is very, very surreal. The cons of the game for me are the control system is a bit erratic at times, sometimes you can perform the same manoeuvre, get loads of propulsion, other times you get hardly any, so some of the devs feel very unfair and not actually your fault. The other thing is, the game can be played through pretty quickly once you get the hang of the control system and how the game works. However, if you do want to come back and collect the hats and go for all the achievements, that will have a lot of replayability to the game. So, in my opinion, it could be a little bit longer, but what there is there is very, very good and highly entertaining. So, I'd give this game a solid 7 out of 10. Could be a bit longer, but what there is there is very good indeed.